My name is DK Pandey and I am from the Business Communication. Today we are going to demonstrate about the Turbo Pro engine, the model PT620A. And along with me, Mr. Jisan is also going to join. So this is called the instructions like how to operate the system. This uh, Turbo Pro engine, we are going to understand that like how to turn on the real engine. This is the real engine basically made for the training a student that how the pilot, how we can do the maintenance. There is a lot of parameter to understand that like how in the real world the turbine engine is, is working. So what we have to do that like there is some a standard procedures, there is a protocol we have to follow out like what procedure we have to follow to turn on. If you fail to maintain the standard procedures then there is a chance for the blown up the whole device like we are adding the more fuel inside the combustion chamber and if you are not maintaining the ITT then suddenly the whole system will burn out. So what we have to do first, first of all we have to give the DC power supply. So the back side here, here, here there is a power supply and we have to make the power supply in the airport aeroplane mode. First of all we have to remove the emergency line. So I remove the emergency and second line we have to maintain make this called the aircraft mode. So this is the aircraft mode and here this is inside they have the combustion area here and after that they have this is called the propeller, this is called exhaust line, here we are giving the jet A oil inside there we are applying the fuels as per the standard requirement of the engine and this is the whole instruction so me and Jisan we are going to discuss one by one once we verify then we are going to see that how to turn on the engine. Okay. This is called the noise protection part. So this is very mandatory to use during the operation of the engine. And we are going to look one by one the all parameters. So what is the instructions here? The instruction, first instruction we have to wear this. This noise protection cover. And we have to give the master switch on. Before turn on the master switch there is some we have to look around there is no spare parts lying inside near to the system so first of all we have to check that our this is called the power lever so we have to look it should be on the ideal condition the second this is called the propeller the propeller should be on the reverse position third this is called the cutoff position this is very important parameters like this is responsible to apply the fuel inside the engine so we have to put in the ideal cutoff positions next if once we verify this then we have to turn on the master line so we turn on the master then we can check our voice like we are able to communicate or not Jason, can you hear me yes okay that is great okay the next step we are going to look about the all parameters here this is very important parameter like this oil temperature oil pressure fuel pressure torque fuel flow probe tech turbine tech and this is called the ITT. ITT is very important parameters like we have to maintain less than the 750 degrees C. Once we can go beyond of this range so it will be very dangerous for the device. So what we have to do the second step we have to turn on the call the fuel setup. Other step we have to turn on the booster pump on. Then we can go to the button on. Eighteen percent. Then I'll introduce the fuel here. So I'm applying the fuel inside. I'm applying the fuel.